It is with immense pride and deep sense of responsibility that I stand before you today to inaugurate this timely and crucial seminar, Enable, Empower, Enrich, a gathering focused on exploring the transformative potential of digital public infrastructure in our pursuit of truly digital Sri Lanka. In today's context, technology is an undeniable force sharpening every facet of our lives. From the way we communicate to the way we conduct businesses, technology is not merely a tool, but an integral element of our modern existence. In this context, government worldwide have profound responsibility to harness the power of technology and use it to advance the well-being of their citizens. DPI is a critical enabler of digital transformation and is helping to improve public service delivery while helping the government officials to do their jobs at ease. DPI will improve the interoperability of government and private institutions and will revolutionize governance, streamlining service delivery and empower our citizens. Connected digital government is a key pillar in our DigiCon 2030 roadmap, and we are fully committed to making this plan operationalized. We are in the process of upgrading LGN, LGC, where we will bring in a network and a cloud with a modern day security features. Digital financial services is another key pillar in the Sri Lanka's digital economic policy 2030. And the government is committed to facilitate and lead the way for cashless transactions environment in the country. Government officials play an important role in boosting financial inclusion and promoting use of digital financial services. And I'm happy that most of the important segment of the government institutions are here today. We are also committed to enhancing skills, literacy, knowledge, and jobs of our citizens and the government officials. With the new trends in digitizing, a new position will be created such as chief digital officer and many more in the government sector. And we need to identify and train our officials to take up these new jobs. Sri Lanka has made significant strides in digital journey in the recent years. However, the potential remains untapped. This seminar represents a crucial moment to accelerate our efforts and fully embrace the promise of DPIs. By prioritizing the adaptation of DPI across all levels of government, we can embark on a transformative path towards true digital government. In the journey of creating the connected digital government, having unique digital ID will be a critical element, and I am grateful to the Indian government for their support. In the journey with the digital public goods, Sri Lanka has already begun making meaningful progress. We have initiated the Sri Lanka Unique Digital ID project using MOSIP and have successfully completed its pilot phase. The full-scale implementation is currently in planning stages with the request for proposal process underway. In uh, addition, DIVOC for smart vaccination program and DHIS2 for immunization tracking are currently being implemented. By bringing Unique Digital ID, we will be able to finish uh, the duplication of data and bring transparency while curtailing corruption. Through DPIs, we seek enable our citizens by providing them with seamless access to essential services, regardless of their location or socioeconomic status. Empower our businesses to innovate and thrive in a digital connected marketplace, creating new jobs and boosting our economy. Enrich the lives of our people through digital education, health, and cultural exchange, building a vibrant and knowledge-driven society. However, let us be mindful that successful adaptation of digital public infrastructure is not merely a technological challenge. It requires concrete efforts from all the stakeholders, government, private sector, and civil society. We must work collaboratively to develop the robust policies, invest in digital literacy, 
and address cyber security concerns where our government officials play an important role. I urge all officials gathered here to embrace the new era and to be the forefront runners of the change uh, the Sri Lanka needs. I would like to take this opportunity to make a request from the government officials to complete the survey that has been sent to gather information on all digital projects as we intend to identify the necessary digital public infrastructure in government sector. Let us seize this occasion to learn from the insight of our esteemed panelists, engage through provoking discussions and chart a roadmap for a future where digital public infrastructure propels Sri Lanka towards a greater, prosperous and inclusivity. Finally, I'm inviting all of you to be part of our Digital Global Investment Summit, which is going to be held on the 25th of June. It will act as a platform for tech, VCs, and investors seeking investment opportunities in Sri Lanka tech ecosystem untapped potential. I thank the Indian High Commission for organizing this event and hand-holding towards the DPI of Sri Lanka. Thank you. Have a great day.